Hi everyone, so today we're going to be doing a different type of test, something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. I've always wanted to know what the degradation for the battery is uh, on my LFP rear-wheel drive. And I have 42,000 kilometers, so it's a pretty healthy amount. The car is about like, I don't know, 14 months old, something like that. Uh, so I've been driving it quite a bit, mostly, you know, for long trips and things, things like that. But 42,000 kilometers, I think that's a healthy amount, so we can... Uh, run the test and see what the battery drop is. Honestly, it's not something that I can feel, like range-wise. I have no idea. I'm hoping it's around 5 to 10%, but I would be more hopeful for 5%. But anyway, let's uh, let's get it started and see what we, we end up with. And I'm just going to press that big blue button and hope for the best. Welcome back. So here we are the next day. Um, it took about 22 hours and the car was at 40, basically 50%. I was at, I think, 48% when I started this process. So basically what happens, it goes all the way down to zero and then back up to 100%. And when it gets to 100%, then it's, it's, it's done. It's ready. Uh, so that whole process took about 22 hours. Now it's done. I haven't looked at the results. We're going to look at it together. Um, I'm really curious to see what that's going to be, so let's dive in. There it is, battery health, 91.2%. That's a pretty hefty drop. I wasn't expecting nearly 10%, that's pretty impressive. Um, most of the charging has been done at home on basically a trickle charger, uh, just using the original charger, 7 kilowatts ma maximum, but realistically it's around 3 kilowatts most of the time. So yeah. 9%. Hmm. Uh, not sure if that's what you were expecting. It's definitely not what I was expecting. Uh, it is a result though. Uh, I want to try it out on the dual motor that's just outside to see what the difference is for that one. I believe it has like 25,000 kilometers or around that type of mileage. So we'll maybe run a test soon just to see if there's any drop. And if there is one, you know, uh, how big is that drop? Uh, yeah, we'll run this test again a little later, maybe when the weather stabilizes and that will give us perhaps a more accurate result. But for now, that's what we have. So LFP, 8.8% drop in a year and like three months and 42,000 kilometers. Let's see what we get in a couple more years because this is not looking as well as I had hoped. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Catch you in the next one.